CBS News Bay Area. This is the evening edition. Now at six, she's only been on the job for a few months, but Alameda County's new district attorney already drawing fire over her handling over the freeway shooting that killed a two-year-old. With problems that have plagued San Francisco for decade upon decade, we dig into how city officials are promising to break the cycle this time in the Tenderloin and whether their efforts are making a difference. Live from the CBS studios in San Francisco, I'm Brian Hack. And I'm Andrea Nakano. We begin tonight with a developing story. CHP confirmed a five-year-old child has died after a shooting last night on Highway 880. It happened around 7 o'clock near Dixon Landing Road near the border of Fremont and Milpitas. The child was taken to the hospital after being struck by a bullet but died at the hospital. Meantime, last night, Santa Cruz police arrested three suspects after a chase they said those people are believed to be associated with two shootings in Fremont, one involving the death of a child. They turned the suspects over to Fremont police, but would not say officially if it is the same shooting on 880. At the same time, a protest planned against Alameda County's new district attorney, Pamela Price, over the handling of the Jasper Wu case. Jasper Wu, the two-year-old, killed by gunfire on the freeway. The protest is set for tomorrow in front of the county courthouse in Oakland. Price campaigned with the slogan, Justice with Compassion. Now, protest organizers tell Dahlin they think the defendants accused of killing the two-year-old will not face appropriate punishment. Jasper Wu's family worries that three men arrested for the killing of the two-year-old toddler won't face any jail time. That's why supporters are putting pressure on the district attorney. 